everyone welcome back to my channel so i am here with another project share and this project share is a mini album um this is a four by four mini album that i made and i did the um like the no sew binding or whatever that i think it was amber who's lyric clover 10 showed how to do and then Char did it on a Monday Night Live and then Donna did it on a Monday Night Live. So I was like, let me try this out. So I decided to do it, but in a mini version. So again, this is a four by four album. And I did try to kill a paper pad at this Gal Meets Glam. Um, I have, I still have a ton of die cuts, um, but there are no whole sheets left, just a few pieces that are um, two inches by six inches wide. And that's perfect because I want to make some embellishments um, for the album. So that is perfect. For my binding, I did use some string. And this is just some string from the Dollar Tree, the red one. I've had this forever. I always see it sitting on the shelf in my craft storage and i just never used it and then the light bulb came on to use it um the the actual seam binding here is this candy apple red by um my scrap cabin i recently got that in the mail and let's see do i have anything else to share i think that's it okay so let's get into the album itself so again i did do the the method of using the strings and i added beads to mine and these beads were gifted to me by Brittany, who is bb's crafts here on instagram and youtube and then i added this tassel and a daiso bow here to the middle i did some stitching throughout um so it, the only thing that's not stitched is the back. So here is the front of my album. And I used die cuts from the collection as well as some sequins. And I think these are both Dollar Tree sequins that I've just had over time. I have a rosette, some more of the ephemera. And I did the, um, the wrapping of the sentiment. I saw Tony's recent video. She had chipboard pieces, but I decided to do it too the um die cut piece and just pop it up um it's i mean of course it's not as thick as chipboard but it still does the same job so yeah it's just red and gold sequins and then some pearls here and there all right let's get into it <clears throat> So for the inside and the back, there is just, it's just covered. There's no pockets on those. I did make some folders as well as like stitch together scraps of paper. So for all of the folders, I, since I was using double-sided paper in the 6x6 pad, I wanted to make sure that each page showed in some way. So I had to match things up and I... So, so I sewed them each, I sewed two pages together and then stitched the pockets up and I love how it turned out. Um, and then I just added some die cuts here and there and sequins. I also made some pages, regular pages, just stitching two um, four by four pages together. And yeah, so I can add pictures or embellishments i'm not sure what i'm going to use this for yet but i can add whatever i want there's still a ton of room and then with scraps i made like quilted sheets i didn't like how the back looks so i just covered it up with some pink paper and then this one is just scraps that are layered on one another and then i just added some stitching and this is red stitching everything else is usually gold <clears throat> all of the um pages with sequins and um die cuts are folders so this lets me know this is another folder everything's stitched and then this is just um 
pages I stitched together, I need to go back over the edge of this or just like glue it down. Or once I put something here, it'll just keep the page in place. So this lets me know this is another folder. And I do need to go back and clean up my stitches, um, like the excess thread. But I kind of like the messy look, honestly. I don't know. It's just nice to see that everything doesn't have to be so perfect. And then here's another page that I constructed with scraps by stitching. And this is another page. As well as this. And I love this one. Um, how it looks because it's red thread and then that's all the reds and pinks. And then you have these squares that are the turquoise and black and whites. So I like how that turned out. And then the last folder is here. And that is the back of my book. So, I mean, you can see the red in the inside. So it's nice that I have some gold thread. I have some red thread. I ran out of gold thread. That's why I started using the red. But I love how this turned out. I'm pretty proud of it, especially all the stitching and just trying to be innovative with the scraps. I wanted to kill the entire um, uh, pad for just this album. So just having those excess pieces there allows me to make embellishments um, at a later date. I may come back with the follow-up video. I'm not sure to show you that I used the entire kit, the entire uh, paper pad. And I also found that I have journaling cards that match this. So I may um, throw those in here. I'm not sure yet or just find another way to use them. But yeah, this is my album. Again, it's a 4x4 four four album, a 1-inch spine. It has chipboard wrapped. Um, it's actually a cereal box wrapped with some 110 pound cardstock. So it's sturdy. Yeah. Everything fit in the strings, no problem. And also I was noticing that my seam binding was starting to fray a bit. So what I did to stop that was add some double-sided tape and fold the ends inside on each other. So now when I tie it, the ends have a little more weight to them so they don't like flail all over the place. And it actually looks a little bit more finished, which is nice. See? <clears throat> but yeah, here is my little mini album. And I'll probably take this bow off the loop with the tassel and just glue it on because I want it to be still. Or just find a gold bow. I'm not sure. But this is how it looks for now. And with this, I can reposition my beads any way that I want them. But when I tied it, I made sure I split the top and the bottom beads because I wanted to have some type of like design with it. And I was inspired by Shara Crane, uh, Shara Crane. <clears throat> and I was inspired by Shara Crane. I saw one of her, I think Traveler's Notebooks or something she made a long time ago. It's been a while, but beating the edges has definitely um, been on my to-do list for a while. And since B Brittany gave me the beads, I put them to use immediately. All right, so that is all that I have. Thank you for watching and have a good day.